To whispering ashes. How you boys doing? Better. Just get it over and done with. <laughs> it, it episode one was too nice. Yep. I'm. I enjoyed episode one, and that makes me think I'm not going. You to often enjoy don't episode enjoy two. episode one. <laughs> yeah, it was the nicest whispering ashes episode one I've ever had. You didn't, you know, kill me or any of my family. So. Yeah, things yeah. are a bit backwards this time around. Me and Jim so. got to have some nice little character moments. Yeah. And to be fair, it's all down to you guys being pretty smart and figuring out what was going on. We talked about it in the backstage pass a bit, but like, had you all not figured out what was that, like, the hairpin wouldn't have worked, like, she was pretty much just going to massacre the, the family, you know? Good gravy. And if we were lucky, us as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we've already talked about, like, our other supernatural experiences and stuff like that, so... I don't think we need to go too far into it, especially when there is a ghost. In front of us. In front of you. I shoot her in the head. (laughs) So let's dive right back into it. So uh, I suppose first off, would anyone like to give a recap of what's going on? We do a pathetic roll for recap with D6s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be a D6. Yeah, yeah I can actually still do a roll for recap. It's always just you guys for these. So. That's I got fine. a four. I also got a four. This is the problem with using a D6. Let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> I well, got one. I also got one. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Oh. Four, two. Okay. I high. thought that was a two on yours as well. That's no. Hilarious. Uh, is that highest? Just recap or lowest? Ryan, you tell it's us. Uh, uh, highest. Oh. Ooh. Oh, all right. Well. I was in taking a breath for a recap there. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy a long leisure drink while you do this. Elijah and Colt had just begun their most intense week work of the year the week of dawn i believe it's called it is where all them speaky speaky spooky creepy ghosties all come out (laughs) and when the recently dead their spirits rise up again saying all sorts of nasty sexist and just damn right slut shaming things and you know they really ought to get with the times it's okay but anyway we went and got you know, we cleared up, killed the ghost of a grandma like any good to religion fearing yeah. <laughs> ghost hunters would do. We got paid and then we got a an auspicious message from the mayor who's a, a real creepy guy as well, for, but just for other reasons. Um, but before we went and talked to him, we said, uh, you know what, let's go visit Chaplin or a pink club and have a couple of drinks. And she let slip that, you know, something big is on the horizon. Some big involved going out beyond the bubble again something that we haven't ain't done in you know just over two years and the last time it was a uh, not a great experience for us both We've kind of been avoiding it but anyway according to the mayor we're the, the two people for the job because him and the religious leaders of this here town well they reckon that maybe 150 years ago more of the preludes came down and crash landed out there and now they seem to have tracked him down why it took 150 years i don't know but they seem to have plotted it out they've also asked us go and meet up with uh robert and this other carpenter fella yeah you know one just check in on robert and two see if we can deliver some medicine and supplies to carpenter and his kid make sure he doesn't uh, have to get put down as a ghost again we're not really looking forward to that but we're gonna do it and uh we set off anyway, of course, having to travel at night and camp up during the day as we succumb to the heat and exhaustion of the tree suns in the sky. And when we make camp, well, Cole here had a pretty nasty nightmare from the sands of it and woke up screaming, but was greeted as he woke up with the uh, the image, the vision of a, a child who seems to be a ghost, a young girl wearing a headscarf who's uh, just greeted us, and uh, here we are now, and I'm pulling my gun, and I'm shooting her in the face. (laughs) 
Hi there. Whoa, hey. Hey, you the now. Eli. Oh, hey, how the fuck did you get in here? What? Eli, it's ghosts. It's, it's, oh, yeah, I can see it's a ghost. What? What? Who are you guys? What are, what are you doing here? Don't listen to it, Eli. How corporeal is she? Um, I mean, you're just awake. Uh, you can do an observation roll if you would like. Do I still have a stressed eye? Yeah. Okay. From uh, not sleeping. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, so I do see it, but I also panic. Yeah. I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah. So you're stressed out, of course, seeing this ghost here. And you can you can pretty much see the wall behind her. She seems just very translucent. Like, in no way, you know, deformed or anything like that. Um, mm. The most complete of any ghost you've seen, but not with any physical form. And do we have, like, a... I know our little camp, our little Lehman's tiny hut that we're in to steal from D&D is like pitch black and like obscuring the outside. Do we have like a clock or something internally to know what time it is? You do, yeah. So it's like middle middle of the day right now. Okay, so we're, we're kind of stuck in here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's scorching hot in the wastelands okay. right now. Uh, wh- what, what, hello, what's your name? My name's Iris. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering what you guys are, are, are doing out here in the waste. Ain't none of your damn business. Go on, now. get, oh, get. It. I'm gonna start like ushering her out with my hands, trying to push her through the wall. Oh, but you're a silly one, you. Uh, what? What is it? It's cult, isn't it? How does this ghost know my damn? Oh, I man? don't know. That's I, it. Oh, hey, okay. Um, oh, but who are you? Uh, uh my name's El- El- Elijah. Don't tell it I- your name, Eli. Damn it! Now I'm doing it. I love that you've made a friend, Colt. That's so fun. And look at you with your cute little white gloves. How nice. Colt, Colt, what's going on here? What's going on? Do you recognize this one? No, I don't. Gasping ghouls. What do you want here, Spectre? Oh, I was just wondering what was going on. Like, uh, where where are you guys headed to? Are are you are you headed out to it to the far side of the wastes? Don't tell it a damn thing. We're, why does it matter where we're going? It, it would just be so great to have someone head out that way. There's so many great things that we would be able to show you. This is no bueno. <laughs> um, Who, who's we? Oh, just me and some of my friends that we have. You, you've seen a lot of them, like a lot of them get lost. You know, not all of them are as lucky as, you know, but, uh, you know, some, some oh, of them I... get lost, some of them get stuck. And, uh, you know, it's it's tough, but we, we got to keep carrying on because, you know, as my daddy used to say, the, the strength of any man comes from his faith and his convictions. Wouldn't you agree, Colt? What I think ain't no concern of yours, little specter. What now, is it that you get do out believe? Of here. Now, it's the preludes, right? The preludes ain't none of your damn business. But don't you believe, Colt, that they'll they'll save us all? Yeah, I do. I do believe they'll save us all when they come back. Hmm. And I want to be there for that, so go on, get! Colt, let's not, let's not aggravate her. Let's not, let's just, she's, remain vigilant, yeah? Let's not. Can you tell me about these preludes? Hmm. Why do you want to know about the preludes? Well, they seem like it must be something great for you to have believed it so strongly. They are great, and they're going to save us all. They're going to come back for us. Save us from the likes of you. The likes of me? Yeah, damn specters, gregacious ghosts, gasping ghouls, all your type. But what really makes a difference between those are, that are living and those that, uh, you know, w- what makes a life? Is it the... Is it the physical form, or is it the memories? What makes you who you are, Colt? Uh, stop it. You're confusing my head. I don't need this. I don't need uh, you here. A liberal diet of whiskey and, you know, spirits and uh, the good kind of spirits, let me assure you. 
and just a cantankerous attitude is what makes up Colt here. Listen, I- Iris, was it? It is, yes. How how do you know Colt? He's that's silly. Don't ask silly questions. <laughs> okay. It ain't a silly question if we don't have the answer to it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so excited for you all to come play. You're talking like you know me. You know, you seem to know so much about us, Cyrus, but, you know, I don't know any about... Can you tell me something about yourself? Is there anything, is there anything that you hold dear? Anything, any treasured memory that you'd like to share with us? It seems as you have so many with Colt here. What I'm looking most forward to is the future and how we can shape it. My daddy taught me that our future can be as bright as we want it to be. That we can shape it to be the way that we want by whatever means are necessary. And who's your daddy? Oh, he was a great, great man. I think you really would have liked him, Cole. He was a preacher. You would have loved him. And he always Jim talked about the so future. so obsessed right now. <laughs> he, I don't give a shit what your daddy said. I don't give a shit about what he was preaching, unless he was preaching the good of the preludes. But what I want to know is, why do you keep hurting my friends why do you think you know me why do your friends keep hurting us hurting the people that they love they're scared they're oh. lost why why are they scared well wouldn't you be i've seen you i've seen colt get scared before ain't no reason to go around tenderizing innocent people you were scared just now weren't you colt that was silly i'm scared right now what were you scared of when you woke up Ain't none of your damn business. Was it a what memory? I was of. No, ain't no damn memory either. Hmm. Okay. Well, I gotta go. I got things to do. Bye Wait. bye. Love you. Bye bye bye. And she just disappears. What well, tarnation was Is that? it in our understanding of the structure of this tent that we're in, should it allow things in and out like that? Not anything physical. By okay. any means. So okay. would it be like would ghosts pass through it when they move around sometimes? It like it would be really, really unlikely. You all wouldn't really know why. Um, but the uh, the power cell uh, within it um, seems to kind of ward kind keep of keep them a bit. away a bit. Yeah. Okay. So one appearing like this, speaking to you, everything very, very, very different than anything you've experienced before. What Cole? the prelude's like was that? You ever well, heard one of them talk like that? I mean, we heard playing them talk, but usually they just repeat themselves or kind of, you know... I mean, a full-blown conversation. You know, you know how do they well, know my name? I was about to ask you that. How, like, do you recognize her? Is this... I ain't never seen her before. Come on, Cole. It, you know... You know it's times like this. We gotta be honest with each other. If this is one of if this is one of these, you know, I, I am if being this, honest, Eli. If this, if this is a memory from the past, before I got into this, before, you know, before, yeah, you got you gotta tell me. What do you, you want gotta from tell me? me? I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know who that little girl was. How does she know your name then? That's what I'm asking you. How does she know who I am? Well, she is the one who's talking to you about all this prelude stuff and. You know, she seemed awful interested in your religion. Oh, grieving ghouls. Anybody who has any sense is interested in religion. <sighs> she must have just got my name from... From the information in the... In the... In the what? In the what? In the dome. I don't know. I'm well known. Everybody knows me. I'm Cole Longarm. Maybe she just heard of me. It's pretty fucked up if ghosts are hearing of us. I don't know. Maybe she's the ghost of someone who died hearing about me. I, uh, I don't like this, Colt. I, I no, really, I don't like I'm it not. not one fucking bit. But what are we supposed to do about it? Do we turn back? No, we can't turn back because there's a kid waiting on medicine. We already got one dead kid we're dealing with. I ain't gonna deal with another on my hands. Okay. Well, I don't fucking like this. Yeah, so you said a few times. This is when you learn your name. This is when you show grit and just get through the thing. Yeah. Seems to me like where we're going out west, there may be some answers to this. She mentioned something about having friends out that way. And you think that's something to be fucking hopeful about? I don't know. I 
value information. I value answers. I don't like not knowing. I don't like not knowing either, but I want things that we can concretely touch and do something practical with this. We ain't in the business of dealing with corporeal concrete things. But we are We're we in make, the business. We make of things corporeal. Down we make things concrete. We're the ones who fucking end all this shit. Now we're dealing with things we don't know. So if we don't know how to deal with this one, who will? You expecting some super fellow to jump out of a tree and save us? Well, that's nah, what you're fucking expecting to do with the fucking preludes. You watch your tongue, boy. Yeah, whatever. I will slap you around this dome. I know you don't respect my religion, but you can keep it out of your mouth. As you all argue throughout the rest of the day, um, barely getting really any sleep through this. Fuck you, I love you. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, Jim, go ahead and uh, take a stress dice. <laughs> Just um, the one. Just the consider one. Consider myself lucky. It's grand. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, not getting enough sleep, you know, during this day. And the sun finally sets and you're ready for another night of travel. As you travel the wastes and you go... <laughs> I mean, you say we're ready for another <laughs> night of travel, but are we really? And as you go further out, you begin to hear wailing. It's howling. Are you, Eli? No, it's not. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to break the tension. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear men and women screaming for help as you go and uh, more of these lost souls just wandering no idea where they are but more are starting to say words you, you begin to realize that more and more of these have this isn't their first night coming around that they've been wandering for a while but what you do notice is that when you close when you go somewhat near any of these within, you know, like pretty close distance of them that they stop whatever they're doing and they turn and they watch you now. Don't like that. Even the ones without eyes turn their sightless gaze in your direction. You ever wonder what got them all? What did them all in? Sickness? Some of them falling under steeds? Some of them Dying in gunfights. So many. I. Well, I don't. You know, I don't like to speculate too much, but what I don't get the most is. I mean, look around. Ain't no one else out here. It's just us traveling. Are. Are these all from hundreds of years of people dying on these travels? Like. There's no one out here to generate all these spirits. Where's the bodies of these spirits? Well, seems to me they're down there traveling too, right? It's like, damn right, they're all moving in a direction, right? Some of them are kind of moving toward the direction of town. It's basically the, the main direction everything seems to be flowing. Um, again, fairly lost. You know, they're losing their way, but if you were to chart a general direction, it's more towards town. I don't know. Do they all come from Enoch? You know, do they come from the outlying farms? I, I couldn't tell you. Um, can I roll an observation to see, like, yeah. I don't know if, like, styles and fashions have changed much over the last, mm. like, they have somewhat um, I won't make you roll on well you're wanting to see if their style and fashion have I want to see if I can gauge I won't make how you old roll on are. that um, you're actually a bit baffled to see that some of them like like it seems to be spanning all kinds of of different ages and ranges and is there any that we wouldn't recognize yeah yeah definitely um, outfits that seem to be more like uniforms. I mean, I've seen a few of them wearing this uniform. Maybe there was some battle before our time, some war that may have died out in here. Another one of those things that our, our leaders are keeping secret? Maybe. I don't know. As you're 
Do you see how they died? You see any bullet wounds or you would you, know that, that you it know doesn't they, always show it doesn't manifest. Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. You know that they don't they don't always come back in their spirit form the same way that they died. It's I know that. I'm just looking for answers. I know, I know. And why are they looking at us now? They ain't never done that before. It's something to do with that girl. It's gotta be, right? As you're walking, you, you begin reckon? to see a, another wavy dome off in, in the distance, you know, that you're you're going toward, which would be Robert's farm. Anyway, we, uh... Yeah, maybe Robert like can... we're here. Maybe he'll know something else about this. The sun is beginning to rise as you get there, and uh, just outside of the dome, you do see a, uh, a mound where something has been buried um, with a... A broken headstone on it. Um, it seems that it has been potentially hit by something. And uh, it does read Sherry, which is the name of... Uh, I know you had said Juliet last episode, but that wasn't correct. That was, my, uh, that was my nickname for her. <laughs> I used to call her Juliet on account of him being her Franklin. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> but uh, Sherry, the, the name of Robert's wife... Um, and there's a mound there outside of the dome. Um, as you walk through, uh, you see an, a quite old, haggard man, and he's waving enthusiastically. Robert, yeah. you son of a bitch! Are you goddamn bitch? You think you can show your face on my property again? What you gonna do? Shoot me with a gun? We both know your aim ain't shit. And he pulls out a shotgun and he, you know, does it in one hand, uh, you know, like cocking it in one hand and uh, kind of aims it towards you. I throw up my arms like I'm going for a hook and be like, come on, you daft And fuck. he goes, do me, <laughs> do me in. <laughs> and he begins to laugh and walks towards you and uh, gives you quite a big bear hug. Mm. Um, oh, it's been so good to see you out here. It's been been ages it's been ages like uh, i saw the mound robert you know sherry and i sherry and i have, have missed you like uh, uh she, she'll catch up with you later she she's out in the barn there you know she's she's just got some work that she gotta do but uh oh boy she'll be she'll be glad to see you robert they told me sherry died Oh, uh, now you guys, you boys, gotta come inside here. We got, we got some good old catching up on the, on the old times to talk about. You, you remember, oh, uh, what was dear, oh four eighty seven when you and I went out and, uh, whoo, that was a good year. We, we done some mighty fine blasting. That was before you even were. What were you still suckling on your mama's tit back then, boy? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd rather. You'd not put it that way, but Eli done never there. saw it. Uh, you go in there. Yeah, right. I think we all done be suckling on that boy's mama's tits. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You go in there. I'm gonna tell him what to do with them damn steeds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I'll get it ready for you. And yeah, sure. I'll, I'll share, be in, in a minute. In a you bit. make sure those plates are clean for me. Yeah. Oh, you... I make sure those glasses are filled. <laughs> uh, filled with what? Piss, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> um, does he go in? Yeah, he does. Something ain't right here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta dig up that grave, and we gotta dig up that grave right now. You know you know what's happened here. I know what's happened here. I'm more concerned about what's out in that. He said the barn, did he? The barn. I'm gonna go in. I'm no, gonna distract no, him. No, no, where? You got it. No, Colt, look at me. Look at me, Colt. Not again. We've been through this. We've been through this. We've been through ghosts. Tricking right. us. Fine. So we've just talked to we just talked to a ghost who knows who you are. Now this one knows who you are. It's it's a ghost. I know it's a ghost. The goat's out in the fucking shed. Yeah. He didn't hell. take care of it like we was told. And if I know him and I know Cher, what we need to put her down is sitting on his ring finger. What's the man then? It's gotta be her grave. He done buried her. She came back, and he didn't have it in him to do her in. Uh, this stinks like... Stinks like high heaven, I agree. What's... what's Boys, you coming in? It's getting mighty fight, fucking hot out there. 
and I got these beds all done up for you, but I want to go have a goddamn drink before you all get on the bed. Yeah, so start drinking, you old fuck. I'll be <laughs> in in a minute. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you got somewhere I can wash my hands? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, sure, you, we got a washroom, boy. This is a moisture farm. You got fucking water everywhere. Yeah, okay. Can you just, uh, could, could you show us there? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. It's a big, you know, it's a yeah, quite a big living container, like a you know, a full on white box. Like, yeah. like all of them. Quite stained with the red sand of, you know, the wastes. Mm. Um, but, uh, but quite a bit cleaner than, than you've seen anywhere else. There, there are the potato fields, um, you know, nearby and things like that. So there, there is some nice, you know, a lovely like greenish gray vegetation, mm. like, um, you know, more on the gray side than anything, but but that's a good sign. You know, it's only bad when they really start going black or or reddish. Um, and uh, yeah, he he brings you into the house and it looks messy, um, quite quite messy. And uh, as he's like, oh yeah, come on, yeah, the washroom is a uh, past the kitchen here, and just go on in there. And so as you walk through the kitchen. Um, there's a uh, there's the dining room off to the side of it, and you see that there is a stack of plates at one side of the table, as if plates are being set repeatedly and repeatedly mm. and repeatedly. Mm. Mm. You uh you uh doing a lot of farming, Robert? Oh yeah, you know it. It's peaceful. It's uh it ain't it ain't nothing like those uh. Those good years, you know, but I mean, nothing will live up to that year 04, 87 when you and I were out there just blasting away. I mean, what did we take down like fucking 45 ghosts in 46 one by my count. <laughs> You're and right. you done gone where met Sherry. I know. That was that same year. I same always year. admired your union. I always thought, man, if I could get me a ring like them too hot, I would be mighty happy he does flash it and goes oh this thing been weighing my hand down for years but <laughs> luckily she's the she's the wind beneath my wings you mind if i take a look at that i always been admiring it from a distance and, and then you up and disappeared out here to these moisture farms i never got an opportunity to properly ask to look at the thing oh, i don't know if i can get this damn thing off anymore oh come on look at you you've been wasting away out here look you and i this. both know that thing's coming off this thing's fucking stuck on here what are you boy uh, here we need to have a drink first and then we'll talk about fucking jewelry what are you I guess I'm just getting sentimental in my old age. Uh, I never found my Cherie. You've been hanging out with that prissy boy for too long. Hey, you watch your mouth. <laughs> Look at you being protected. I'll separate your gum and your teeth. Shut the fuck uh, up and pour a drink. You remember back when I was the one looking out for you, when you were the little scared, wet behind the ears? I ain't hey, I'm never not scared. been wet behind the ears. <laughs> That's how it was. Did I... Hey, Elijah, did I ever tell you about back in that old year, 0487? This boy ain't never fired a gun in his life, I swear. And what? I was out teaching him how to do everything. Uh, or what? You, you gonna act like you had good old kills before that? No, and I've fired plenty since then. <laughs> Keep running your mouth and I'll show you how good I got. Look, look. I still got some farm work to do. I know you boys been traveling at night, but I still got some work to do. So if you guys want to have... You know, if you want to eat anything, or if you want to go on to bed, you guys go on to bed, and uh, that's fine. I'll be doing my work around. You know, you guys need to get your sleep. What, but, hey, what time is it now? Is it like dawnish or yeah? Okay, yeah. yeah. It's probably like, you know, probably like ten a.m. something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. You so go it's starting on. to get pretty hot. Like you go do your fucking work. We have a drink first, and he holds up a like dirty bottle. In front of you. Looks like you ain't washed that thing in ten years. <laughs> I just keep refilling it. You know, mm. I got the old still out back. It's got the same fucking marks on it from when I last drank. <laughs> you living in filth. <laughs> uh no, don't be talking bad about how Sherry cleans up around here. She's a busy woman, but she doing good work. DM, I'm gonna give myself a stress tie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Where did you say she was? Well, she's back in the barn. You know, she's got some old work she got to do out there. Does she, uh, does she need a hand? You know, it's... Uh, 
Well, that's you mighty know, kind of you, but I think she got it. She got it, boy. Ah, uh, you know, it's it it's hospitable that, you know, we can't just be put up for nothing. We gotta, you know, make our way around. Ah, uh, the old mayor told me you've been doing plenty. Now, you, you taking your steeds and you hooked them up right around there, right? No, we didn't. You got a tow hitch out by that bar. Oh, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll hook up your horses for you. That, that ain't no problem. What's a horse? Yeah. <laughs> I'll hook up your steeds for you. That ain't that ain't no problem. You guys, uh, you boys, get on to sleep, and I'll I'll take care of it, and I'll and I'll restock your air and everything. So it's mighty kind of you. The mayor let me know you guys are on a big old fancy mission, huh? Something like it. Going out to the carpenters, huh? They they doing all right? Yeah, no, there's a sick kid. We gotta bring they're, supplies to oh, their little girl. She their little boy not doing well out there. Yeah, we didn't get the details, just uh, got the packages, you know. Oh, poor thing. It's rough living out here in the waste so far away, but them carpenters, they, them liking living all the way out there for so long. Right out there on the edge, huh? Yeah, yeah. You ever hear about what's beyond that? Oh, I mean, there's them old, old kid stories, you know? Why don't you tell us well, those kid stories? Hey, my my old grandmammy said that uh, one day there was a, Big old fire fell from the sky, and uh, we she thought the whole world was gonna end. Maybe the, the preludes or you know, come back to save us all, and Mary was gonna wash us all clean or something, something silly like that. But ain't silly, nothing really ever came of it. But she do say that that's when the uh, that's when them old ghosts start showing up. So, but you know, hard to know, right. Well, look, you get to your work. Give Sherry our regards. Oh, right, we'll do, we'll do. She'll, she'll love to see you. I hope she gets to see you before you boys leave, so. Uh, I'd like that. Hopefully Wouldn't you all be. ain't leave before her bedtime or nothing, you know? Wouldn't yeah, be right proper. What time's her bedtime? I'm sure we can, uh... Oh, normal about sundown, you know, so. As long as you boys aren't setting out too early. You know how it is. We're, we're getting up there in years. We got a early bedtime. Yeah, of course. You gotta, you gotta look after yourself. Yeah, and right now I gotta keep them old plants from scorching. So I gotta be dumping water on these boys all day. Oh, you get to it. All right, I'll see ya. You, you boys know where the... You ever still remember where the uh, bedrooms yeah, are? Yeah, I ain't old like you. I remember things good. <laughs> oh, you're getting there, boy. And he uh, walks out. Right, so obviously we're gonna go into the barn. Confirm that... <sighs> Look, can't do shit without something to... Without a... Well, we got the run of the house here, don't we? Yeah, I suppose we do. Why don't we check? Why don't we check the bedrooms real quick? Yeah, I'll let you lead. You know you know them. I'm uh, gonna search the place. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna need the ring or something to, to like, be a representation of their marriage. I mean, the other option is we go out there and, as you said, we dig up that grave and we get we get the paired ring. Let, let's... Let's see what we can find here first. All right. Um, I'm going to run an uh, observation check on the room, I guess. Yeah. Um, are you both... Are, are you, so, really, you shouldn't both be rolling for okay. it? I think I'll, I'll um, roll But if this. you want to check somewhere else, Dylan. What's your observation, Jim? Seven. And okay. I get a bonus to it because I'm an investigator. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You go for this then. That, that's, that works out very well uh, character-wise, too. I have a... You give me a stress dice to me. One. One. Um, and I can ask you a specific question as yeah. well. And and that's enough to pass. So yeah. Cool. I'm going to say um, all these questions are good. And I know the answer to all of them. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to say, again, looking for, so very similar to last time, looking for an artifact of their wedding or their marriage. Uh, is anything hidden here? And if so, where? So above... Like on one of the walls, like above, like a little, you know, mantle thing that they have, um, there is a portrait of of them on, you know, a painting uh, of them on their wedding day. And uh, as you're being a bit reminiscent looking at this and, you know, remembering the day that, uh, you know, Sherry was playing some music in, in uh, you know, Chapel's Bar before it was Chapel's Bar. And that was when when he met her and uh, as you're reminiscing that and looking at it you see that there are hinges on this uh, painting right well I um, 
delicately pull aside the painting and look at the, I'm assuming, safe behind, or yeah. even just the drawer. Yeah, that there will require is, no further skill checks to get into. <laughs> there is a safe and there is a number pad on it. Oh four eight seven. Yep, gotta be. Yeah, you put that in and it opens, and inside is a skeletal hand. Well, a rotted, mostly skeletal hand. Right, he literally took her hand. With a diamond ring. Well, not diamond, but, you know, a, a fancy little metal ring. I recognize that. That's a, a DM. I'm assuming that's her wedding ring. It is, yeah. Right. It would be wild if it was an unrelated ring. <laughs> <laughs> Just a random I recognize ring. that. He won first place in a sprinting competition. <laughs> All right, well then, I don't relish what comes next, but we should get out to that barn. Um, so I'm going to need you guys to make a mobility roll. Why? And, right. and it is going to be to... contested. I don't have the best mobility in the world. As be, you are trying to be, sneak before out, we, before in, we go it out. is bright and Before daytime. we go out, before we go out. Colt, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question here. It kind of goes against everything that we do. Yeah. Well, don't fucking dance <sighs> around it, so. You know him. Does he look happy? Well, yeah, he seems pretty happy, but he also seems delusional. <laughs> Is it better to let him live in his delusion? No, he's gonna get massacred. Okay. You know he's gonna put one. I, I know, I know, but I'm afraid of what he's gonna do after what we do. So what are you saying? We just I don't know what I'm walk saying. Away I just from this situation, let him. Sit here playing happy family out in the prairie with his fucking specter of his ex-wife. I, I don't know. I don't know what we should do. He, he never trained me for this. Ain't nobody be trained for this. Man's living out here like a damn fool with a ghost. All right. I, you think I want to do this? You think I want to go out there and face Sherry? No. She was my friend. I, I know and that. now I'm looking at putting a barrel to her. That's why I'm doing this, out of respect for my friend. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll be there with you. Thanks. You just got You're gonna have to pick up the pieces when he comes. When he hear, he's gonna hear the gunshots. <sighs> Damn fool! We just gotta have the strength to do what he couldn't. I don't know nothing about putting people back together. I know about taking ghosts apart. Yeah, I. You know I know what it's like to not be fully back together after one of these incidents. So what are you suggesting? I'm just, I just don't wanna leave this, I wanna leave this place in a better state than we found it. And I don't know if we're gonna do that now. Ain't gonna be hard to leave it better than this. Okay, that, yeah, let's, let's put our game faces on. Let's, let's do this. He's gonna. I'm going. You're right. He's gonna have a problem. He's gonna. I wouldn't be surprised. Knowing this fool from back when, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he thinks this is his living wife, he's gonna pull a gun on us. Yeah. And when we we shoot him, we're gonna have to deal with him twice, unless we can talk him down. Do you think you're gonna be able to talk him down? He's delusional. He don't seem like he's seeing the real world right now. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. So you wanna just ride on? This is not my decision to make. He's your friend. She was your friend. Well, I, damn. Believe she, I know she needs to be put to rest. And I know that's the right thing to do, but, you know, I don't want him to make any rash decisions afterwards. I think he's already made his rash decision. He got her hand in a safe in yeah. his bedroom. Yeah, he does. I don't want to think about that. that let's just go. Let's, let's just do it. Let's, let's do it. Right, fine. Let's make our way out to the barn. At least see what's going on out there. Okay. <laughs> Very fitting. Hup. No successes. And my two stress light were both <laughs> panics. I got two successes and no panic. One, two, six is okay? Uh, so you had two sixes? I had two sixes. So, so if you look at the stunting for mobility... Uh, you're make... actually able to give one to somebody else. Then I'll give one to and um, Eli. He didn't have any sixes on his observation, so you're okay. lucky. 
and a and a one two true six is still not pa- panicked, right? So, uh, yeah, one through six is okay. Yeah, so I, I'm you okay rolled for a six on your panic. <laughs> yeah, in total. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, no, not out the front. So he seems. So you see, uh, um, Robert, and he's just content, whistling away um, while he's I want him. Water on the, uh, he's got, you know, basically this overhang machine that he that keeps the sun off of him as he goes and he sprays mm. the water on all the. I want to, considering Eli's words, I want to make an observation check on him to see, does he seem happy? Does he seem in his right mind? Knowing full well, I don't think he's actually either of those things, but I'm just respecting what Eli said. Again, won't make you roll for it. He seems as content as the day you saw him on his wedding day. You're such a fuckhead, Ryan. <laughs> mm, let me roll an empathy check on myself. <laughs> <laughs> to see if I can... I'm going to say, if I fail this empathy check, we're going in the barn. If I pass the empathy check... Are you going to leave it? Look at us. We are the DMs now. <laughs> Um, how do I do this? I suppose, yeah, I'll just roll it and see what happens on my stress dice too. Pass the empty check. So I suppose, what do you think is the most empathetic thing? Well, that's the whole fucking moral quandary here, isn't it? Let him live with something that is potentially very dangerous for him. I'll ask you, so with your two sixes on empathy, Mm. your empathetic nature reaches out beyond just thinking of yourselves and your friend. And you think about the fact that he is the supply line point Mm. between the carpenters and town and some of the other farmers that are further out. He is also one of the main moisture suppliers. I I mean, if something happened to him, like that, you know, somebody else would take over the farm. Yeah. But how, what is the risk? You know, how long would, how long would it take before everyone realized what happened? And do we have the capability to send a message? We do, don't we? You would. I mean, he's, you know, a, a full-fledged, like, moisture farmer, so he can communicate. Well, then we don't got no choice here. We gotta, we gotta resolve this situation for better or for worse. And then we gotta make sure that there's someone out here tomorrow taking care of these plants. Because one day in the sun without, yeah. without this water. Okay, send. Yeah, let's go. We can, we can send a message when it's done. All right, we're going to creep up on the barn. So as you enter the barn, a barn, again, not wooden, you know, it's a big white container. Mm. Um, And inside there is a, uh, you know, there's lots of his machinery and things like that, uh, storage units. And uh, at the back, there's a large, large door which separates the back half of this. Mm. Now, this barn is like in the center of this dome. And you know that this barn was covered in these black panels on top of it. And uh, the cables from that extend to the very top of this dome. You know, it's not this miraculous, beautiful thing like it is in Enoch. Um, you know, it's, it's much more, you can tell it's a bit more mechanical. Uh, but there are these black panels on top of, uh, of the barn as you go into it. But there is a large door separating the back half of this barn. And uh, all over it are painted scriptures and symbols all over this and there is a cool. padlock cool, cool cool make an observation roll for me someone to hear the fucking screams and shit do you want you're the observation yeah 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 yes made it on the <laughs> on the stress dice on the stress dice what you thought was just like a, a strange hum coming from the uh you know, from the power generators, you know, within this thing. As you get closer, you recognize the sound. It's singing inside, behind this wall. I know that voice. Accompanied by a metallic-sounding stringed instrument, as you know that uh, Sherry used to play. Do I know what the instrument was? Yeah, it's like like basically a, a very common popular instrument that is used in Enoch. Okay. It's like a string thing with a metallic bass. She playing the bandaloo in there. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> she did that in life. Does the singing sound like distorted? 
It's yeah. I mean, you're. It's behind a big wall. Sorry, but I mean, like, does it sound inhuman? I should say. No, not just from sounds... what you can. Not from what you can tell. Like, it's behind this door. It's really hard to hear. But like, hey, look, it's. If I close my she, eyes. If if she's playing, if she's playing a bandaloo, um, you know, it might mean she's already somewhat corporeal. This might make our jobs easier. This is strange, Eli. This is all strange, but let's just get this done. This um, whole this whole damn trip's strange, but yeah, come on, let's be on time. Um, you said there's a lock on the door. There's there's a padlock. Uh, is it in a good state of repair? Not really. Like I mean. It's a, it's a metal padlock, but it's old. You know. Right here, let me let me uh, butcher it. A hey, close combat, just smack it, or just can you just strength? can we like try and pry it? Something that'll let us maintain the upper hand here. I don't have anything that would do that. Okay, yeah. Close combat, if you want to do a um, you know a blunt force thing, but I will also require you to do a mobility check to you know remain hidden. Sure. Okay. I, I'm not going to be able to do it very silently, probably. Okay. But I, I've, I have a good chance of... I've got five in close combat with my strength, so... Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to ready the shotgun. Uh, still got to think of a name for this one. Okay, that's a su- success on the close combat. Okay, and now roll mobility for me. This one will be uncontested. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push it. Well, shit. <laughs> a little- How, uh... A loud clang echoes throughout the barn. <sighs> Preludes, damn it. They know we're here now. They but know the lock does break. <sighs> right, well, he'll be... Wait, hide. Let's see how this plays out. He don't know where we are. Let's see how he does. Hey, I think he's going to know when he's... What else has made that noise? Yeah, but if he don't see us when he comes in here, he's going to go in that room and we might I... get a sense of the situation. You're going to make him watch... No, you're right. Fine. Let's go. You always did think well under pressure. Um, Right, yeah, I get the shotgun ready and go into the room. When you open it, you see in the middle, um, sitting on this, uh, on a chair, you see Sherry. Now, the room itself is basically a big dome, or a big, like, kind of roundish room. Uh, There is a balcony up above, and in the middle... Up, up above you, a floor above you, well, two floors above you about, um, is uh, the large power core, which is powering everything and with wires going up to uh, the top. And there, the balcony leads around um, and with a walkway that goes toward the center. Now, you know, that's up above you. Um, but down here in the ground floor, um, the walls have pretty paintings all over it you know you you know that sherry used to love to paint and she has painted all kinds of beautiful pictures all over the wall um there are also scriptures perverse versions of the scriptures on the walls as well the same ones that uh, that that were scrawled on the outside but and, and some of them look look clawed into into the wall do i recognize the scriptures like they're part of my religion right? they're part of your religion in there do any of them stand out to me as like poignant in their meaning uh it would all be things like instead of you know contact your supervisor it would be like uh contact the pain the pain the pain the pain the pain it will tell you what to do next um cool and things like that cool 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 um, Love Sherry this. is sitting playing her instrument as she's singing red, red, groovy um, on her chair. And she turns and she sees you and she goes, and she smiles with black teeth. And she goes, oh, hi, Colt. It's been so long since I've seen you. And oh, my God, is that is that little Eli? I you've, shoot her. You've grown up so much. Are you just shooting right away? It ain't her. I'm shooting her. You ain't never seen me. Roll for, uh, what are you shooting her with? Uh, the shotgun. She's, uh, she's pretty far away. She would be at medium range. Oh, well, then the pulse rifle. Okay. It, you had said you had ready. The, well, I'd ready the shotgun. I'm going to use my quick action to get into range. To get into range. Um, and I'm going to shoot her with shotgun. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Um, uh... Do you want to push before I roll? 
Um, now, if I push, even though my panic is a success, do I? No, you keep your sixes. Okay, yeah, then there's no downside to pushing. You add a stress die. Sorry, that was it. This you my stress. Add a stress oh, I add a stress die. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. push. Yeah. Oh no, I see why so they put that. So many dice. Down. Yeah, but like eighty percent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know it. More, it's just in general. Like that's so many dice. Okay, yeah, that's uh, three more successes. Still winning. So one goes through. One goes through. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, cool. So she takes uh, three damage then. Nice. Uh, she recoils as this blast back, and she goes, "Why? Why? Why do you get the working brain and the broken leg? Why you?" Brain work, my Why? Why? Ah! As she just erupts in front of you, and I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Go. Come on, happy reindeer dice. Six. Six true, there's <laughs> one. Oof. Okay, Dylan. Uh, you have to ring, don't you, Jim? I do. Okay, I'm. There's very little else I can do, so I'm just going to try and shoot her. Like, I really don't have that many, many more options at the moment. I will use my fast action to aim, so I can add two, and then I will I'll take a shot. <sighs> this is a stressful situation, but I'm going to push it. How stressed is Eli right now? Three stress. Four. Four stress. Now, now I'm four. Have you noticed... Almost all our successes are coming off the stress die. Okay, that's four successes. And no panic, which is a fucking miracle. Oh, that's good, 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 good. Good for us? Yes. Uh, so two of them go through. Yeah. Um, with the second one, I will just stunt for an additional damage. So that's that's only two damage in total, though. My pistol only does one, so. Okay. She's going to take her first turn. Um, with all this going on, she screams out this harsh, shrill scream. It's mostly oh, taken his your gun or something and like there's a lot of stuff we could have done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, right in your face, Jim. Um, but it, it's going to affect both of you as she is screaming, you lucky brain work my broke your leg, Jim. Quiet! You ain't her! And I need you both to add two panic levels. Just straight up, like? Yep. She then teleports, basically, or she, you know, dissipates into, uh, into a black stars. fog as she reappears above both of you and slams into the ground with this black fog emanating out. Your observation reduces by one. And I need you to both make a mobility roll. This would be easy. With lots of stress. <laughs> yeah. I've got twice the amount of stress die as I do mobility time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black. Okay, I have one panic I and see. one success. It's same. So you need to immediately roll to make sure if you're... Because some of them... Okay, that's not too bad. Six. That's, that's a seven on my panic, so... First panic of the game. You are trembling. Yeah, it seems about right. <laughs> uh, with a six, I'm fine, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, you're... So I get a nervous switch. My, my stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in short range of you increases by one. Cool, 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 cool. cool. So you both, fa- you both saved on the mobility roll? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jim, I believe it is your turn. Yeah. Um, okay, I am going to... Quick action. I'm going to ready the pulse rifle instead now that she's moved around. Okay. Um, and I'm going to shoot at her with that. So this will be armor piercing. Get the ring. Oh, the ring, of course. Um, you're okay, I'm going to keep or, the shotgun. Or, or I'm going to tr- quick action throw the ring yeah. to you. Yeah. And then I'm going to fire on her again with the shotgun. Okay. Uh, she's a bit further away from you now. Um, but no, it, it's short, isn't it? It's not. It's short. Yeah, yeah. so that's fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Eli, do the thing! And I throw the ring, um, and then I'm going to mumble in my breath, I'll do mine, uh, as I bring the shotgun down to bear on it. I can't believe you have so many stress lights already. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, and no panics. Okay. Nice. 
That's three further damage to her now. Nice. Mm. That's a total of eight damage. That's one, two, two. Um, so now we're back up the top of the round. I So before your turn, mm-hmm. lair action, bitch. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to us, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> and from above, one, a door swings open as you hear, You goddamn bastard! Could you not just leave well enough alone? You know Why do you have to do this? If you take her from me, I swear to God, you will not leave this place. As he uh, as he begins to run toward the center um, core with a large sledgehammer. Oh, Jesus, fuck me. And he begins to swing it at the core. And he, he's up. He's up above you. He would be what is considered like a long distance away. Look at her, Roberts. It ain't her. You know full well what this is. You just got to be strong enough to see it. Don't take her from me again. I cannot take this. It ain't her. I'm going to run forward, present the ring to her, and kind of just like get her to focus on that. And with my other hand, I'm going to take out the stun baton, and I'm going to say, I got this. You, You take care of him. You're fine. Okay, so you're holding it in front of her? Yeah. She does look at it, and she goes, Oh, sweet Robert. Why can't I think? And uh, as you see her pulling back into the form she was as you... Because you're not real. It is now her turn. And with you in front of her as you say that... Because you said that to her, it pulls her out of her trance of looking at the ring. Oh, for fuck's sake. And she goes, Little Eli! As she uh, attacks you. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> wow. Not maybe, a one? Maybe some part of her didn't want to hit what she remembered as Little Eli, but she didn't land a one on him. Holy shit. Yes. She screeches around, thrashing about, but... Uh, doesn't hit you. And it's almost like she realizes she she doesn't want to hurt little Eli. And instead she goes, Little Eli, precious Eli. She grabs your head and kisses you on the lips. The black ink that you saw inside of her mouth begins to drain into you. If, and you have to see if you can pull away. So I'm rolling From my point of view, it's like, I'll take care of this. I look like, <laughs> just Eli, what the thing. fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking care of business. So now is when you need to roll your armor rating with three against three sixes. Do I get to, I don't get to roll panic stress along with armor rating, right? I'm assuming it's just straight up armor. No, it's just armor. Could you use a fast action to block and bolster this roll? I He's mean, used his fast I'm pretty raise sure. Baton. Yeah, because I I need to have that out at some point. So I kind of was like, oh, I'll take the the first one on the chin. Come on, you fancy six, armor, right? Yeah, Chapel Rome, We've all seen you in that armor. Let's hope this pays <laughs> off. Yeah, that one. So yeah, you are going to take a one point of damage. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I need you to make a stamina roll. Less fine, but also not too bad. I get to add all my panic with this, right? Or my stress dice? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I need I need I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink. One panic and like four successes. Your panic doesn't matter in this. So okay, four well, successes. Yeah. Uh, you feel this paralytic ink ro- rushing through you but you are able to stay up for another four rounds. Be quick! <laughs> uh, okay. And it is your go. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, quick action. Swap out for the pulse rifle. I'll show you who can't aim. I'll show you who can't shoot. This is why they call me long arm. Um, I'm going to try and shoot the hammer out of his hands. Rather Interesting. Than get trying to scramble up there. Because okay. I'm no good at close range. I figured you'd just fucking shoot him. All right, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not at the point of shooting my friend just yet. Um, <laughs> God, God, it'd be a lot cooler if you were. <laughs> <laughs> be a lot easier if you were. Yeah. Because have you looked up uh, size targets? Oh. Yeah, you get a minus two to shoot a small target. Oh, do I? 
Okay, well, let me let me do the maths on this because my stress will carry me through things. <laughs> um, so I don't get to aim because I had to swap out my gun. Yeah. Um, so I get my default, and then I get plus one. Um, no other bonus here, but I do have. Sorry, plus one. I do have five stress die. So I'm rolling this many dice, but then my minus two. I'm rolling this many dice. And all I got to do is roll a six on one of them to hit this thing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is why they call me wrong. Four sixes. No panic. Nice. Well done. Yeah, you are able to shoot the hammer out of his hand. And with a four, I'm also going to say you didn't hit his hand or anything like that. So. Uh, I can stunt on him three times here. Hold on. Well, you're shooting the hammer. I'm shooting the hammer. Yeah. You can stunt on the hammer, I guess. <laughs> okay. Do you want to impress the hammer? I do now. <laughs> um, just give me one second in case there is... Was that what auto fire by any chance? Uh, full auto even? I can't do full auto because oh. I have to swap. Oh, out. okay, yeah. Um, otherwise, it would be an additional target. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot the hammer to stop him and then kill him. Well, sorry. Actually, <laughs> hold on. Just to on meta game myself. Can I? I? I didn't realize this was something I can do. But one of the stunts for ranged combat is they drop a held item or weapon. So instead of taking that minus two, can I roll two more dice? Well, you've already... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Roll two well, more dice, see if you get... I, I, don't, I don't mind. It's just I didn't realize that was something I could do rather than making it incredibly difficult for myself. Yeah, I was having fun with you making it incredibly difficult for yourself, but... Okay, well, I'm going to roll two more. Because if I do it this way, I knock the hammer out of his hands and I have two stunts and two mm. more dice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so then I'm going to just throw these extra two dice... It. Not neither of them or anything. Okay. But now that means I get to do. Um, You're shooting him, right? So let me roll his armor yes. real quick. Okay. So four go through. Uh, I'm using the one stunt to um, knock the hammer out of his hand, and then the two stunts I am going to just do po two points of damage to. Him. Okay. So the total, how much damage is done to? Um, so your weapon damage, and then that's going to be what was I using the? So five damage and. Uh, it's not even five damage. It's four damage because I'm using the um, pulse rifle, not the shotgun. So uh, you, as you shoot this uh, into your friend, it, the hammer flings off to the side uh, as he's hit in the arm. But this heavy sledgehammer that he had goes over the edge of the balcony and uh, your friend hit in, the, hit in the shoulder falls with it down, down to the floor beside you. Damn it, Robert. Damn fool. Um, As Sherry begins to... Can I see if he's... Shriek. You handling... What in tarnation are you doing over there? It is up to you now, Dylan. I think then I'm just... I have to hold back up the, the ring again? No, no, no. It's fine. That, that's like, effect, that, well, that effect is done, right? Yeah, that effect's done. You basically, yeah. to use an RIPD term, you've popped her. Now, okay, so, okay. Fine, then I am just going to fucking stab her with my stun baton. Okay. We've got her very close. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, so many dice. The amount of dice is severe. It feels great, though. Well, good news, no panic. Bad news, no success. <laughs> Dylan, I'm going to need you to start rolling at least one six every now I know, but I, 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 I physically, I can't, I can't risk pushing it. Like, yeah. I can't. Like fair, okay. Well, look, you've got two turn, three, three turns, three more now. Yeah. Um, and I still have my fast action, so I can block whatever this okay. nasty shit is going to be. So, so as you go to attack her with this, yes. uh, with this stun baton, she reaches out and grabs it. She smiles, you know, having just kissed you with this paralytic. You know, you you were a bit slow with it as a result yeah. of it. And uh, as she smiles, she reaches a ghostly hand as it goes through your body. And then you feel the hand begin to uh, corporealize. Go, 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 go. And we'll see how well this goes. 
before uh. I explain what happens. <laughs> Just hold her steady. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna block. Okay, two well. blocks. But but I found you need to see if you. Oh yeah. One. And so it is automatically the next higher one. I start to tremble and control me. All skill rolls using agility suffer a minus two. Okay, yeah. Um, so you are absolutely terrified as this hand is inside of you. You yeah. feel that yeah, I am. <laughs> what she is attempting to do is to grab your rib cage and begin to shatter it. Cool, cool. But cool, in your cool, terror, cool. you're able to push her hand out before anything happens. She looks over and she sees her love that you reminded her of down on the ground, broken. And she begins to rip herself apart, shrieking in absolute panic. And uh, this black, vile acid that is inside of her begins to splash everywhere. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Um, So two against your armor. Me again? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> you got good armor. I do have good armor. Yeah. Yeah, do. That's two armor saves. And the acid eats through those two points of armor, reducing your armor to a four. Great. Love that for me. Love that for me. You got okay armor. <laughs> but with this happening in front of you as it's eating through, I do need you to take one more stress level. <laughs> sure. <laughs> At this point. At this point. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, my days. Okay, how many have you got now? No, uh, eight. eight. Eight stress level. A five. I'm not that far behind you. Jim. Um, Gasping ghouls. We got to get this finished. Um, I'm going to fast action aim. Uh, and I'm going to unload on her with the pulse rifle. So Armor piercing, right? Armor piercing, yeah. Which means this... Aim, pulse rifle. Good. And then I'm stressed. So this is the most dice I will have rolled yet because so far I haven't actually aimed with this gun. One, two, three, four, and two. And what is the base damage on this gun? Uh, the base damage on this gun is two. Nice. Nice. Go ahead. Tell me what you've done. I filled her full of bullets. Tell me how you... So she falls to the ground, leaking everywhere, and she is completely broken at this point, shrieking and weeping over her over her husband. And she's going, Only brain work. Why? He only leg brain work, work, work. And she's fallen broken. Fallen broken. You ain't nothing but a specter. Um, I pull out Chantal and I put a bullet in her head. Uh, she's still in the same condition being a ghost. Oh, I'm freaking the fuck out, but like the... Eli. The pack's on my back. <sighs> Have you got it to do this thing or do you need me to... I think Eli is fully trying to like focus okay. on making himself throw up. Right, and fine. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they search in his med pack for like. Oh yeah, that's so, the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you get yourself right there, boy. I'll take care of this one. Um, I take out the pack, do the thing, and be like, for what it's worth, you were one of my friends in life. With him distracted, yeah, and you walking over with the pack. Mm. I need you to make a panic roll for me as a flashback occurs to you of something that happened two years ago. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Six. Six you, total? Did you have any other panics before in this? No, he hasn't. No? Okay. He's, been pretty, he's been pretty solid. I did yeah. have one panic, and I think I got a six on it. Okay, yeah. so it would be a seven yeah. then for you. Which is a tremor. Uh, right? So you've, take, you've taken on a nervous twitch, and so you and the stress level of all friendly PCs increases by one. I'm so sorry, Eli. <laughs> but you do remember that there was once before a ghost that pretended to be downed mm. as you approach. Well, I did put a bullet in her head, so... Did you actually take that shot that you had mentioned? Yeah, that's oh, yeah. fine. Then. Yeah. then you can feel a little bit more confident. <laughs> <laughs> I double tap everything I see now. <laughs> um, I am 
it's still going to be having that very present in my head as I walk up to it. Because the I, situation is so similar. Even, like, true, like, retching, like, you were here, go, go, stay vigilant, don't expect ah. the worst, go, expect ah. the worst. <laughs> I always expect the worst, <laughs> that's my secret, Eli. I always expect the worst, um, and then I'm going to just slam the two things down onto the ghost. Nice. She screeches as she dissipates into you again, just a black dust that falls to the ground. Brush it out of my hair and shit. Uh, I'm be just, I'm gonna say, not quite the songbird you were in life. Um, and then I'm gonna go over and see if I can't help Eli. Eli, you are ill. Yeah. You're ill, I. Yeah. You are going to need to make a medical aid roll, or someone is. You can help him as well. Cool. It's the one thing I can kind of do. I don't even know where medical is on my sheet. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can, I can, I can do four, and that's just raw empathy. My medical aid is nothing, if that's any good to you. Mine's, will be nine, plus nine, panic die. <laughs> yeah, so... And you are scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Eli's in a terrible place. Like, mm-hmm. an absolutely terrible place. But somehow keeps it together. Nice. Whoa. Did you get any sixes? Oh, I got, like, four of them. Nice. Sorry, three of them. Yeah, you basically, in your medical kit, have this, like, you know, anti-venom thing. Yeah. Basically, you stick it down yourself and you just retch hardcore um, as this stuff comes out of you. Um But here you are. Um, I will also stunt on myself so I can heal that damage. (laughs) (laughs) What does that look like, Dylan? (laughs) I don't know. Don't ask me to describe this. Uh, As you are are pulling yourself together from all of this, uh, you hear a bit of a... up above you from the power core. I, I go I, I go check it out. Okay. Can I very quickly check on Roberts, though? Yeah, you absolutely can. Can we, like, stabilize him? Eli, like, take a look at him while I investigate this power. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta look after him. I gotta, I gotta look after him. Okay. I run over and try to... He's, he's, his neck is broken. He's... You get him back up, okay? I'm gonna go check out the power core. I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can. It's just a broken neck. He's not dead. But he's okay. In bad shape. I think Eli. I'm going to make a self-imposed this, empathy this roll. Is a, this is a critical injury, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, An yeah. Actual critical injury. Um, and uh, basically, you can receive like a certain type of medical mm. um, thing because it, it's called cracked spine, um, paralyzed from the neck down, and if not given medical aid in time, the effect is permanent. Is that? Still making that mercy killing roll there. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll heal. No, I'll heal him. I have to. <laughs> Just I'm gonna freak out. Okay. This isn't against him dying, right? So it's just, it's just medical aid. It's to stop it from being permanent. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, I, I succeed. Yeah. But I also panic. Roll that panic. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay, so what is that? You just drop an item. Uh, that is no. I'm I freeze. I'm frozen by fear or stress for one round. Uh, I lose my next slow action, my stress level, and everyone else's stress level uh, increases by one. Which he's left, so it's just you. Okay. Eli just having a fucking time. Uh, just the worst. What's time. the stress level at just now? The just worst. so the listeners can. Uh, 10 and just so for everyone if I panic again and roll a 5 or more um, I Go become catatonic. catatonic like I'm essentially that's, out of the game that's a game over <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I think you see Eli rush forward well you can be brought out of being catatonic it's just a yeah. panic but yeah it's not great like, but I think you see him rush forward kind of like look down at everything that's going on and I think he just he just begins like retching and stuff again and you know like frantically like uh like rubbing his hands together and like is just like goes to try and 
you know, tend to Robert and just freezes and can't do anything. Okay. Um, I don't see that because I am struggling to climb a ladder. <laughs> you get up there to the uh, to the core, and you see it has unfortunately been, you know, quite damaged. But I need you to make a heavy machinery roll. Wow, we've never made one of these before. I no, joked no. earlier that this is something I never do. Uh, I have a two. <laughs> Look, I wrote things in here so you guys would have to use your other things. <laughs> Uh, okay, I succeed, but I also have a wee panic attack. Okay, so you are able to... So roll your panic for me. Ooh, five. It's a ten. So you are frozen in fear. You are able to stop it from anything getting worse. Um, but you are frozen in fear as you realize that this is going to need to be repaired. And this is going to take some work. Or else we're going to lose the whole farm. Um, I mean, if I'm frozen in fear, I can, can I shout out to Eli? Or is it like a pure, like... <laughs> You're both kind of just frozen. Like, <laughs> yeah, so once you both become unfrozen, yes, you can shout out. <sighs> Eli, he's fucked the thing. It needs to be fixed. Are you able to fix something like this? I, I don't think so. I can, I can barely fix people. You all would both know enough about cores and things like that to be able to fix it enough that, like, it wouldn't break. Uh, it, is, there a, is there a hole somewhere we can go put a ball inside? That's pretty much all I know <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah, least, there is a big hole. At least until somebody from Enoch got there. Okay. You know, to be okay. able to, we to like take over the farm. So first things first is I'm sending a message But that to will take about a day for you to repair it. How much time do we have in general for this whole, like, how, how long? Enough. Do, okay. <laughs> like, uh, spending a day here. Spending is, a day here doesn't mean you won't get to the ship in time. And, you know, sure. Over, you well, know, well the, the time limit that I have in my head is that sick kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many, uh, how many kids do you reckon are back in Enoch? Hundreds. You think we can, uh, think we can do another... Season without the food from this farm? From the speed that the mare is going through it? I don't think so. Shitty decision time. Yeah, it seems to be the theme of the day. Look, we don't know what that kid, uh, we don't know what that kid in the carpenters is, is like. He might have an extra day in him. He might. But, uh, this thing don't. You gonna stay here and fix it? I think that's what Robert would want. Yeah. All right, well, look. This here's a moisture farm. You go find yourself some moisture. Get yourself cleaned up. I know you don't like being dirty. Was I able to tend to Robert then in the end when I froze? You were, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you were able to stop it from being permanent. Um, I, I took a, a roll there, and he's going to be pretty much in bad shape for um, another, like, I think it was nine days. So, yeah. Like, basically... If you get people from Enoch to come out here, they'll yeah. ship him to to town and mm. get him up on his feet eventually. He's an old man, so it takes a bit longer. Look, Robert can't fix this. We we at least owe it to him to take care of what he can't. Yeah, you're right. I hate it, but you're right. Okay, I'll start yeah, I, working on I gotta on go. This. I gotta. I, I gotta. I gotta you get go cleaned get up. yourself yeah, yeah. cleaned up. Keep an eye out for more fucking weird ghosts. Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah. Remain vigilant. Uh, always. One of you needs to send a message back to I, I, town. I, like, as soon as all that resolved, I sent a message, like, letting cool. them know. Yeah, perfect. I would have sent it to the twins, not the mayor. Fair. And I would have also sent it on to chapel. Oh, fair. Cool. Um... So, yeah, I mean, we can roleplay it if you want, but, uh, you know, you spend a day repairing it. Um, and then the next night, you... Uh, How much does our panic and stress go down now? Um, your, your stress over that time will go down a decent amount. Yeah. Um, That's literally the only reason I sent you to get washed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to start fresh again. Okay, 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 okay. You know, you've had a you've had you have beds to sleep in here, you know, yeah. while you're while you're working on it and everything. Um 
And uh, with heavy hearts, you head out the next evening. While you, but before you leave, sorry, almost completely forgot this. Uh, you do find some. He was supposed to resupply you, you know, mm. and uh, you do find some weapons. Do I find anything that I could repair the damage to my armor with? Unfortunately, not. Cool. Great. Love well, that. actually, I'll let you, I'll let you roll for it if you would like. I would like. Um, I, will, I would like. Yes. That would be a survival. No, we're going to call it a heavy machinery roll as you use okay. his welding gear. Okay, yeah, to... fine. Can you find like a ream of paper somewhere? God damn it, no. <laughs> Never again. I <laughs> have <laughs> fucking reams of paper. Stop bullets. I and... heard that a ream of paper is the best option. It is the best option. That's uh, two successes. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, you're able to add one back to it. Cool, I'll take that. You know, this guy's a old hunter and... As you're going through, you decide that maybe he, maybe he owes you a little bit for, you know, all this disaster that has gone on. And, uh, and he probably won't be using it. You find his mounted smart gun, which you are able to mount to your horse. I don't like that. No, I actually, I hate this. Weaponry, like it's real dodgy. (laughs) Mounted smart gun. Just one. Yeah. And it needs to be mounted to your horse. Well, you Sorry, got that Steed. sniper on Steed. yours, don't you? Really? I'm the yeah. one that made this rule, and I keep calling it a fucking horse. Steed. A uh, silver steed. So, steel. A steed of steel. So this is a plus three for your die. Three damage. Range is long, and, you know, no penalty for, like, the closer, unless it's, like, absolutely close. It is armor piercing, and it is full auto. Holy fuck. Don't like that at all. True That's damage. cool as shit, though. It's very cool. Better than that. While it is mounted to your... You you can pull it off. You you have, like, basically no agility, mm-hmm. you know, if you are carrying it yourself. Um, but while it is mounted to your steed, it actually can choose targets for you um, while it is on there, and you can remote control fire it. You got a drone. <laughs> I knew I liked this steed. <laughs> Son of a bitch was holding out on me. Um, what do we? We just kind of set him up, like restrained, until help can get out. Yeah, like I help is on the I, way. They're gonna. I arrive have to in restrain him so he doesn't move. Yeah, and damage yeah. the spine further anyway. So okay. Yeah, I mean they're on their way. They're gonna be there like very soon. You know, I mean it took you guys just a couple days to get yeah. there. So, um, As you go out that night, there's more and more ghosts, and many begin to point at you as you're going as they amble around aimlessly. Some begin to follow you, you find. And when the day begins to rise, they aren't disappearing, they are remaining. And as you are beginning to set up your dome for the day, you see as they begin to circle, not approaching, but watching all around. But the best you can do is make camp for the day. I hate this, Ryan. <laughs> Eli. Yes, of course. In your stress, and you're very stressed out, you know, you're exhausted, and you do fall asleep tonight. But you find yourself digging, digging, digging. How, how many, how many shovelfuls? How, how, how long does it take? How, how, how deep does it need to be? He, he would need it to be deep. It, it needs to be deep. We need, we need to keep him in there. Oh God, the blood. It's all, it's all over my hands. It, it's, it's all over me. It's, it's everywhere. It's all, it's in the, it's in the ground. Look. What? I didn't. I didn't know she. I didn't know she wasn't dead. I. 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 I what? How was I supposed to know? It, it's. I, I need to. I need to put him to rest. I need to. You jolt, awake, and you see Iris, waving at you. And this is where we end episode two. Every time, Iris. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I don't like it!
<laughs> Told you guys episode one was too easy, Vanya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking moral quandaries. Yeah. Mm, I had a moral solution. Uh, yeah, you did. Um, no, ooh. I mean, you know, what is the right answer in that situation, you know? Yeah, there is none, really. The right answer is making a choice and sticking with it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Um, <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, Thanks for listening. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm hoping you're feeling all spooky and ready for Halloween. Uh, that's coming up in just a couple weeks. So I hope you have your costumes. If you have picked out your costume and you're going to be something cool, send it send it over to us. Let us know in our uh, Discord. Yeah, that'd be fun. And uh, hopefully you're cowboys this year. <laughs> hopefully. Um... Yeah, uh, go join our Discord, um, follow us on social media, check out our Patreon if you want to hear us talk about more about this episode. We're going to have our Backstage Pass episode now where we kind of break everything down and we give out to Ryan for torturing us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's I think that's about it. Um, obviously, we also have uh, Lucifer's <laughs> lol outs. I can't think of a word but L. <laughs> Mm. Um, which uh, we will do. I think Satan's submissions works. Satan's well, so submissions yeah. is very good. Yes, I was, yeah. just, I was just trying to see. Can I come up with something else? I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morally and emotionally and physically drained. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's it is 10 now. PM. <laughs> yeah, the sun has very it, much gone it is down. Now it's black. Yeah. Um, thanks everyone for listening, and we'll catch you on the backstage bus. Bye. Bye. Oh, what a fun little episode about our buddy Rob and his zombie wife. Everybody got that reference, right? Right? Come on, guys. But now it's time to hang out with me, the devil, where I get to condemn our patrons to another week of suffering. I hope you all enjoyed your week of well-deserved punishment. Too bad you all just couldn't keep it clean and holy for a week. So we have some more work to do! The Rookie DM! You know what? I was trying to write out this script in one of your notebooks, and I got an infernal paper cut! So for that, you get one week of paper cuts on your eyelids! I know it wasn't really your fault, but it pissed me off, and I'm the devil! So, eh, you know how it is. The Dreaded DM! In the name of all that is unholy, are you all ever going to wrap up the Space Wizard story? I feel like you are primarily responsible for, for distracting Jim from the story, so I'm condemning you to one week of being lost in the woods. Hopefully you don't run into any bears. Although I've heard that is most people's preferred encounter in the woods. Becca. Ah, dear sweet Becca. None of us down here in hell will ever understand where your theories come from for Hearth Fire Tales stories. So now that you're fresh out of your week of therapy, I'm sending you to a week of reading comprehension courses! By the end of this month, you're going to be a brand new person, it seems. Swamp Witch! You had the audacity to tell Satan, that's me, that your punishment wasn't good enough? Fine! If taking your headphones wasn't enough, then you get one week of knitting needles to the ears! I care. You having fun? Turns out that your actual punishment was telling you there was an Easter egg. Isn't it crazy that Ryan was able to put the same Easter egg in this episode too? There's really an art form to it. Like a beautiful painting. Or a haunting melody. So I don't think we need to give you a punishment. You're punishing yourself enough, aren't you? <laughs> and Keith. Keith, I heard you're getting ready to try and bring more people into a castle. Are you not learning from last week? No. What are you doing? Uh, take all of his instruments away this week. One day he'll get it. Oh, and by the way, everyone. Rushlander and I are opening up a new tiki bar together. 
We reported on the beach to the lake of lava just out of reach of all the damned souls. We're gonna call it something like Satan's Shadow Keep. When you're feeling hot, spend some time in the shade. Hey, it's a work in progress. Anyway, that's all for this week. Have fun, my lovelies.